So uh, <coughs> I am I am Dirt from uh, Erika Sins, and uh, we were here uh, two years ago. And uh, when you when uh, when somebody on street asks me, you know, where are you from? I said from Latvia. Where what's Latvia? Where it is? You know, where Erika Sins come from? Oh yes, that's Latvia. So uh, Erika uh, Latvia in uh, United States where uh, was. Uh, famous for uh, being a uh, home of uh, Erika Sint. But uh, over over these two years, do you hear? Over these two years, uh, we have another offspring of Latvia who like moved to States, uh, NBA player Kristaps Porzingis, yeah, and everybody know you know where <laughs> what's Latvia? Porzingis is from Latvia, and everybody knows. So uh, yeah. Eric, uh, but that's possibly because uh, too few people make music. So those who make music know that uh, well Erika Sins is from Latvia. I'm here with, uh, uh, I'm running a company. I'm here with Kodak, who is a uh, pure genius in uh, performing live techno. And everything he touches turns into musical instrument. Well, I'm, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not bullshitting, really. He can take... <laughs> Any, any, like uh, the least, uh, like the most stupid module or the uh, totally unexplored uh, musical instrument, and in uh, in few minutes uh, it sounds, you know, as it uh, should or as Kodak thinks it should. Uh, also, I have uh, Elise. Elise, our uh, marketing and uh, salesperson here. She's the most uh, advanced uh, person in her 21. I ever met, you know, really seriously. And we have uh, like uh, five, six new modules uh, this year, which we are showing on NUM, because uh, uh, we all are crazy and we cannot focus, you know. <laughs> so and and you know every new idea that comes in mind, you know, is uh, uh, for us seems like more important than uh, completing uh, previous ones and so on, so on. So, but uh, I will introduce you with a uh, couple of uh, new modules we have uh, um, for um, this NUM. And first one is Graphic VCO. And uh, this is uh, like a standing example of our craziness because the Graphic VCO actually was produced uh, one and a half years ago. But uh, by that time, we did not have motivation enough to complete it. And we do not have... Uh, experience and know-how enough to make it uh, like sounding and uh, and making m to make the user interface uh, good enough to launch it on market so and there were a lot of dis destructions we like uh, made made like tons of uh, new modules and tons of new products uh, last year and th that was why we could not complete the uh, oscillator i have a uh, custom Erika Sint's uh, shot glasses here. Um, <laughs> a, one, a one who will tell how many new products we launched last year will get a glass. <laughs> 22 was closest by now. Yeah. No, no, that's, uh, that's not... A, not a <laughs> That was I said this was the closest. <laughs> now thir thirty five is the closest, but it's not there yet. <laughs> we are almost there, so forty. Forty-seven, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> forty, forty-seven, uh, forty-seven new modules because, uh, but that, that's not m models alone. Yeah, we uh, we produced uh, also new travel cases. We we made a uh, few systems. We made uh, different accessories. So, uh, counting all together, uh, forty-seven different products. Which, of course, uh, withdraw our attention from graphic VCO, but now I can uh, probably say that uh, on my birthday, which is in three weeks, February 23, it will be launched and, uh, and uh, you, know, you can get it. So graphic VCO, 
I just brief introduction. It's a, uh, a digital VCO with a, it's a wave table VCO with a 1024 point wave resolution and uh, and uh, 94 uh, kilohertz um, sampling frequency has two outputs. One is like principal oscillator output, other can be configured as a sub oscillator or mix between principal oscillator and sub oscillator. And um, it, it indicates uh, the tune, as you see, and has two, uh, three basic modes of operation. First one is AB wave meaning it morphs between two waves which I can select uh, easily on, uh, on the screen. So I go to menu, select some vowels here and select wave number four for instance. Now I can use uh, a knob to fade bet uh, in, uh, between, uh, between those two waves. So this is sine wave and this is some, some vowel. Of course uh, that would not be a modular synth if you could uh, not modulate it uh, via CV, so morphing CV. I'll yeah, reduce the oscillator, so that's it. Uh, if I if I'm not happy with the wa uh, with wa waves I have here, I can go to edit mode and uh, edit the wave. I'll take sine wave and I'll e uh, edit it by adding uh, harmonics. So I select edit wave where is adding harmonics. I navigate with one encoder, I navigate uh, and uh, with other one I add harmonics. You straight away see how uh, the wave and the sound changes. Other mode. Other mode is the uh, wavetable mode. We have preset. Sorry, we have preset wavetables. Uh, let's take, uh, for instance, mega waves. The third mode is um, a wavetable matrix. So in this case, we have a 16 by 16 wave matrix, and I can navigate it via two encoders. I can add uh, a sub oscillator, which is configurable. I can cho choose uh, I can make uh, uh, choose sine uh, waves. Uh, it was sine waves, therefore it was not audible. I can choose a copy of original wave as well, and uh, on top of, it, of on top of that, I can apply FXs, and uh, we have a choice of uh, frequency modulation, uh, ring uh, ring modulation, phase distortion, uh, wave fold, uh, wave wrapping, uh, beat crush, and uh, drive. So I will go to uh, 
frequency modulation and we have uh, external modulation we can use external modulation sources or internal oscillator which can be free running or synced to the os uh, frequency of principal oscillator what I just you now need to do is add some uh, FX amount and theoretically hear any change because I don't know why <laughs> sorry some, something went totally wrong by some reason <laughs> no, never happened this one. Okay, but um, to end it up, uh, we can save, uh, once we are happy with how it sounds, we can save it as a preset. So, uh, as saved as a preset, uh, I can instantly recall it from, uh, from um, the memory. Let's take uh, some random preset I have saved before. change uh, to another preset so uh, when playing live performances you can just uh, quickly change uh, presets and uh, and uh, have something completely different new uh, new sounds codec will demonstrate it that uh, in a moment a next module is um, is um, black resonant equalizer we somehow with frap tools came up with the, the resonant equalizers uh, independently and uh, this is uh, this appeared from our idea uh, after playing uh, independently with codec we were playing with playing around with the third resonant equalizer which i built as diy kit built them several one day we one morning we appear in office and we say well this surge resonant equalizer that's something but uh, it's uh, limited because it's uh, just manual uh, manually tweakable knobs so w what we decided to do we decided to make uh, an analog filter board with the digital control over it so in this particular case we have a 12 band resonant equalizer where um, um, distance between bands are is uh, s nine semitones, and um, you can uh, easily control each band level via selecting bands. Sorry, via selecting bands uh, w with these buttons, and uh, I want to change some increase uh, uh, level of some uh, specific brands. I can easily do it. Of course, all uh, all parameters are CV con all band levels are CV controlled, so you can easily control it uh, via any CV output. So now let's hear some noise because I I, lo I adore noise. I, I love it so much, and previous performance was simply outstanding. So here we go. I'm inputting noise here, and uh, it has. I will increase uh, all um, all those reson uh, levels. In it has resonance as well, or inverted phase inverted resonance. And because it's digital model, I can uh, module. I can. Uh, easily clean all uh, band levels and uh, randomly choose new ones.
and I choose random To make it even more interesting, we have CV control over uh, bands, uh, not only that you use all uh, eight, uh, 12, um, sort, uh, 12 CV inputs, but use CV1 and make it clockable. So I input here a clock in clock input, and uh, I'll use uh, first CV uh, uh, input and configure it for uh, running uh, Like that. Now it random. I, I take a modulation signal here from a, from a random um, source generator, and now it automatically changes all CV inputs. If I input a si uh, sine wave here, you will see how it sample and holds sine wave. So it basically and once you are happy what you have here you can uh, load uh, you can save this as presets so uh, I, I ch choose bank A and save it as a preset 3 uh, next time I want to recall it I just go to load and uh, recall preset uh, number 3 uh, this module will have uh, several analog filter boards, so uh, as soon you replace filter board, we, we, we will make another one with seven semitones between bands, and there will be one for vocoding uh, purposes when we have uh, all bands uh, very narrowly squeezed in uh, human voice uh, in diapason. So that's basically, uh, then we also have a uh, black hole DSP, but that uh, you will hear uh, in uh, RIVO perform in codex performance. But I have uh, another glass, and uh, possibly you noticed that um, uh, we, we visited Jean-Michel Jarre in his studio in, uh, in Paris, and um, uh, I drink exclusively wine where uh, there is an animal on the label. And that's that's uh, that's really interesting search, and there and you can't go wrong, you know. There there are li really good wines with animals on label, <laughs> so uh, and I we go to Paris uh, to Jean visit Jean Michel Jarre, and uh, he gets uh, we have we are having lunch, and uh, he gets a bottle of wine, and uh, there is an animal on the <laughs> label. Yeah. So what was the animal? <laughs> no. No, no, small. <laughs> no, 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 a bit larger. <laughs> no, rabbit. <laughs> so we had a. Well, and now um, it's uh, time to see what is uh, our uh, another new module uh, drum sequencer capable of our uh, two drum uh, analog drum modules bus drum and snare drum plus uh, graphic vco and uh, and uh, uh, black hole dsp